Hello and welcome to Mars Artifacts. Normally I don't do videos about similar topics back to back as I like to mix things up while keeping things interesting, but something came up recently that I felt the need to bring to you. About a year ago, back when my videos were text based, I made one on the topic of artifacts found on the planet Mars, and with a recent discovery, I think it fitting to give the topic one final look. Now this probably won't be that long as I'm not sure how much it can add to the images, but we'll see. Also, this style of video is quite different for me since there aren't too many facts and dates to share like I'm used to adding in my content. This is probably why you might not see me doing too many videos like this. The Curiosity rover has sent back a multitude of images from the red planet that have led many people to scrutinize over every detail, trying to find something to prove that there is life out there. A lot of these images are reported to show human faces and animals walking about the surface. But with most of them, I agree with the skeptics and that these objects are probably just rocks. More so, these images do prove the phenomenon of pareidolia, where our brains will interpret something familiar, such as a face in a rock, as something unfamiliar. While this is an explanation for about 95% of the images, there is that small percentage that doesn't fit into that realm. As usual, I'm letting you decide on what you think these images depict. I guess since there are supposed werewolves on Mars as well as ghosts, anything is possible. Before we start, I do find it interesting how many images there are out there that people claim to be Star Destroyers from the movie Star Wars Crashed on the Red Planet. Well I guess that answers the age old question of what happened to all the Empire ships that were destroyed in the space battles. Alright, let's get into it. Crab. We're going to start our journey with an older image that is said to depict a crab climbing a rock wall. I have looked at this image over and over again trying to gain a perspective that could possibly be something other than what people claim it is. I'm at a loss since my best guess goes against what is pretty evident about the planet's surface and that it could be a root system from some sort of plant or tree. Since all images from Mars' surface show a landscape devoid of foliage, it makes the assumption I came up with harder to fathom. I also entertained the idea it could be a natural rock formation, but when I looked at the surrounding geology, none of it fits with what we're seeing here. I searched for an explanation from skeptical sources and the only thing they rehashed was the pareidolia effect. The issue I have with that assumption is much like that with Occam's razor, where explaining something with either leads to no discoveries. Much like my video on evidence, what does it take, if everything is explained away via you just think it looks like a crab, or it can't be a crab since no other crabs have been seen on Mars a la Occam's razor, where do we draw the line of where there might actually be something on the planet as well? I saw a few people debunking the crab idea by saying it couldn't be a creature since it couldn't breathe and doesn't have a food source. For breathing it could be built differently than us, meaning it could breathe the carbon dioxide rich atmosphere. For what it eats, I know plenty of people who might think the same thing about creatures that live in the deserts here on Earth. I'm not saying it is in fact a crab, but it certainly is interesting and I'd love to hear your theories on the topic. Thruster Engine I will keep this one semi-brief since there isn't much to go on with it and it could simply be a misidentified rock formation. To me, at least, this image seems to show what looks like part of a thruster engine from a rocket or at the very least a part of a space pod. Again, like the previous entry, I looked at the surrounding geology and this just doesn't seem to fit. It looks like there is circuitry around the object, but, again, it could be shadows. What really intrigues me is the trapezoid-like cutouts in the side, which I could only assume might be for a control panel if it were in fact some part of machinery. At this point, I'm really starting to think that the Star Wars Battle of Debris might actually make more sense. Egyptian Statue Many of us interested in the topic of my channel are very familiar with the likes of theorists presuming we were visited by alien races in the past who had a hand in our development and structures. Egyptian architecture is frequently pointed to when discussing such topics. We come to this image that at first appears to just show a rocky mountainside, but then you quickly notice something odd seemingly carved into it. A lot of times I can get on board with the pareidolia effect, but this one sort of perplexes me. Without having much to add to this image, it certainly looks like some sort of statue was cut out of the rock face. The area surrounding the object appears to be purposely opened up to form whatever it actually is. 
Maybe Giorgio Tsoukalos has been right all along. Not alone. This is probably one of the oddest images to make it back to our planet Earth. What at first appears to be a picture of the Martian landscape quickly devolves into something a little terrifying. If you look closely, it seems to show some kind of orangish creature peeking out from a cave. Images like this are actually not that uncommon, as this picture shows something similar, but in the most creepiest of ways. Just two white eyes gleaming out of the dark cavern. Granted, these both could be optical illusions and light hitting normal objects in the right way to appear alien, but it still doesn't take away from the creepiness factor. A lot of people theorize that if life does in fact exist on the red planet, they might be subterranean beings. With images like these two, they might prove that idea. Or it could prove rocks look a lot like creatures when shown in certain light. Out for a cruise. Now here's the image that started the idea for this whole video. In fact, I considered including it in my Breaking Paranormal News video series, but felt I couldn't add much to it to fill a whole topic. This image was posted about two days ago and it left me puzzled. Granted, the explanation for what it could possibly be, our own space junk, makes sense, but some things made me question that theory. My first thought when I saw the image was that it resembled the old images of the 1958 Ford Nucleon or to an extent the cars frequently found in the video game series Fallout. I just realized, keeping with the theme of wreckage on Mars, it does look a lot like the land speeder from Star Wars as well, especially with what looks like domed glass in the center. What bothers me with the space junk idea is that the bright spots seen on either end of the object look a lot like lights, but I suppose it could be reflections as well. I scoured over various images of known space debris that has landed on the planet, and the closest I could find that is similar to this is the landing craft used to protect the rover. My only issue is that it doesn't quite look right to what we are seeing here. I guess it goes to show that even on Mars, traffic can get backed up as well. As I stated in my video a few years ago, I personally think this stuff is interesting, but I strongly feel a lot of times it might actually be jumped from space, landing on the planet. With that said, I'm not against the idea of it possibly being from an alien civilization that might live underground. Maybe all this stuff comes from aliens using Mars as their garbage dumping area. So what are your thoughts on this subject? Do you think people are trying way too hard to find something odd? Or is there more to these objects than just rocks? Before I go, I wanted to put out there that I finally acquired all the items that I needed to do the giveaway I mentioned a few videos back. Still, I'm uncertain when it'll start, especially with us getting close to hitting the 20,000 subscriber milestone, but I promise it will be soon regardless of subscriber count, so keep your eyes and ears open as it could happen at any time. I'll publish a video about it when it happens as well as posting to all my social media so you don't have to worry about missing out. I guarantee it will be well worth the wait. As always, if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing to my channel for content dealing with cryptids, aliens, hauntings, and odd things in life. Also, it would be greatly appreciated if you could give this video a thumbs up as well. I would like to mention, for those of you who are interested, I do have a Patreon page that you could check out as well. From time to time, I do post bonus videos on there for my Patreons that can range in topics but are normally about behind the scenes things. I do have some interesting items available for those of you who may be interested in this. I'll add a link to it in the description, but you can also find it by going to Patreon and searching Ben Miller Channel. With that, be safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later!